Sorting your data is a pretty straightforward thing when you're working with regular data sets in Excel. But with pivot tables, it could be slightly tricky. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about sorting your data in pivot tables. And I'll also cover some tricks that you can use that will make it even easier. So let's get started. So here I have the data that I'm going to use to create the pivot table. So to do that, I'm going to select any cell in this table, then use the keyboard shortcut Alt NVT. So this opens the, this dialog box where I can choose where to put the pivot table. So I want it in a new worksheet and I can click OK. You will also get the same option if you go to the insert tab and then click on pivot table here. Now, when I click OK, it inserts this pivot table and let me quickly make this one. So let's put sales person's name in the row area. So I have these people's name here appear in the rows. Then let's put categories in the columns area and then let's put revenue numbers in the values area. Now, there are three places where you can apply the sorting in a pivot table. So the first place is the rows area. So let me highlight it. So this part here, this is the rows area. It could be one column. It could be more than one columns, but this is where you can apply sorting. Then there is the columns area, which is this one. So again, you can see that I have clothing, electronics, furniture, so you can apply sorting here as well. And then finally, we have the values area, which is this one here. So we have the values here and you can sort based on these numerical values. You can sort it in a descending or an ascending order based on specific columns. Now, in this case, I'm going to show you how to sort uh, for the rows and columns area. So in rows, you will see that by default, whenever I create a pivot table, it will automatically sort this in an alphabetical order in A to Z sorting format. For example, in this case, you can see uh, I have the name with A, then E, then J and so on. So it is sorted already by A to Z format. And in this case, if you look at the columns area labels, you will see that this is also sorted in the A to Z fashion. Now, this is by default. If you want to change it, there are a couple of places where you can change the sorting criteria. So in this case, easiest is you just go to this row label cell. And when you click here, you'll see that I have these two sorting options, sort A to Z, which is already there. But if I want, I can make this sort Z to A. And I can also click on the more sort options. Then that gives us uh, a couple additional options that I will talk about. Similarly, if you want to sort for the column, you can come to this option here and then choose either Z to A or A to Z. Now what I usually prefer is if I want to let's say sort this column, I would just select any item in this column, go to the data tab. And here again, I have these three options A to Z, Z to A. And if I click on it, it is going to open the more sort options dialog box. So in this case, if I click on Z to A, you'll see that it has sorted my data and I get this visual indication that this column is sorted. Similarly, if I want to sort this here, I can click here, then go to the data tab. And here I can sort Z to A. So you can see it has changed the sorting, changed the order of the columns, or I can use A to Z. Now, one thing about pivot table is that it is unlike regular sorting, pivot table is going to remember the criteria that you have applied. For example, in this case, I have these sorting criteria. Now, let's say I bring the category from row, from columns area to rows area. So I get this data. I have clothing, electronics, and furniture. And you can see that it remembers the criteria that I've used, which is Z to A. So these now names are actually sorted from a Z to A. So this is the case for all of them. In case if I remove the name completely, so, so there is no name. Now I applied sorting criteria on the salesperson name, but I've removed it. But when I add it back again, you'll see that it would still remember it and it would still use the same sorting criteria. So let me bring this category back up here. And similarly, you can see that it will remember A to Z formatting. So you can see visually it remembers this. Now, let me show you how to sort the values area. Now in this pivot table, I want to sort this data based on the values area. So let's say I want to sort based on the clothing column where the person who has made most sales in clothing category, that person's name should appear at the top. Now it's again very easy. You select any cell in the column that you want to sort. Then you go to the data tab here and within this you have these sorting icons. So I have A to Z, Z to A and the sort dialog box. Here, because I want it in a descending order, I would click on Z to A. And when I do that, you can see that this uh, column is now sorted and this list has also sorted along with it. So this person who has made most sales in clothing, that person's records are at the top and then it is sorted based on the clothing column. 
Now, unlike the rows and columns area where pivot table actually remembers the sorting, pivot table is not going to remember the sorting when you change the structure. For example, if I remove the revenue values and I bring them back again, you see that this has a reset, it forgot the sorting and then there is no sorting now. So you will have to do this again. So this is one important thing to know. Also, uh, pivot table allows you to sort vertically but also horizontally. So you can also sort left to right or right to left. For example, let's say I want uh, the sorting to be done based on this person's name, John Smith, where I want this person's, uh, the category in which this person has made most sales to come first, then the next one uh, comes second and the next one comes third. So to do that, I'm going to again select any cell in this row then I would go to the data tab and then click on this sort dialog box and when I do that it opens the sort by value dialog box now you can get the same thing if you come here a right click then go to sort option and here again you have the three options if I click on more sort option it is going to show me the same dialog box now here you can choose whether you want to sort this smallest or largest and you can also choose the sort direction, which is top to bottom or left to right. So in this case, if I choose left to right, and let's say I choose largest to smallest, when I click OK, you can see that now my entire data set has sorted based on this person's data. So now this is the highest one, then the second highest one, and then the third highest one. So if you want, you can also sort based on uh, horizontally based on left to right. So here I have this pivot table and let's say I want to sort this based on the revenue column. So I want the highest revenue person's name to appear at the top. So I would select any cell here, go to the data tab and then click on Z to A. And when I do that, it does the work. And now let's say I change the structure of my pivot table. So I come here and I also put category here in the rows area. Now you would notice that this sorting is maintained. So for the list of sales rep names, I still have their revenue numbers that are sorted in a descending order, which is fine. But in this case, you'll see that I have this outer field, which is clothing, electronics and furniture. And this field is not sorted in the descending order. This number is lower. Then I have this number, which is higher. And then I have this number, which is lower. So if you want to sort both of these row fields, in the descending order, you can also do that. Now, before doing that, I would first change the structure of this pivot table and make it in a different layout. So I would go to the design tab and here in report layout, I would make it tabular form because I find it easier to work with. And let's change this to repeat all item labels. So now I get this data, which is a little more clear. Now I want this data because this is already sorted, but I want clothing, electronics and furniture data to also be sorted. So I would select any of these, any cell here in this row area uh, columns. And then I would go to pivot table analyze. And here I have this option collapse field. And when I click on it, it is going to remove the salesperson's name. So I'm only, I only have these category names. Now I can sort these. So you can see this is not sorted. So select any cell here, go to the data tab, and here, let's sort this in a descending order. So now I have electronics at the top, then furniture, then clothing. And now I would again select any cell here, go back to the pivot table analyze tab, and then click on expand feed and see what happens. Now I have this data where this is sorted based on descending order, based on the sum of revenue, and even the outer category, which is electronic, furniture, and clothing is also sorted. So if you have multiple fields, inner and outer fields, you can also sort both of them. If you already have sorted the inner field, you will have to collapse it and then sort the outer field and then you can expand it again. Now pivot table also has this concept of manual sorting. So here I have this data and let's say I want to focus on the electronics numbers. So I want these numbers to be next to these salespeople's name. Now, if I sort this from A to Z or Z to A, this will not give me electronics in the beginning. It will always give me electronics in the middle. So I can use the manual sorting method. So to do that, I'm going to select this cell that has electronics, then bring my cursor to the edge of the selection. So my cursor changes into this four arrow pointed icon. Now I would hold the left mouse key and drag it where I want this. So because I want it in the beginning, I'm going to drag it and you can see there is this thick green line that appears. So when I bring this here and I leave the mouse key, it is going to shift electronics to the beginning. See what happens when I leave the mouse key, it brings electronics here. And now manual sorting is done. Electronics is in the beginning and these two come here. Now there are a couple of things you need to know when you're doing manual sorting. So let me press control Z to bring it back. Now in this case, let's say I sort this data, my electronics data, in 
a descending order. So I would select any cell in the electronics column, go to the data tab and then click on Z2A. So you can see my electronics data is sorted in a descending order with the people, with the person who has the highest sales, that person's name appears at the top. But if I move this to the beginning, my sorting is going to automatically change. And the reason for this is that pivot table does not remember that the sorting is applied to electronics. In fact, it remembers that the sorting is applied to these set of cells, to this column, column C. See what happens when I, uh, when I bring electronics to the beginning here. Right now my data is sorted based on electronics, but see what happens when I drop electronics here. Now my data is actually sorted based on the clothing column because pivot table does not know the sorting was based on electronics. It remembers the position of it. So this is one thing that you need to, you need to be aware about. The other thing is when you do manual sorting, if you go back in your data updates, for example, if I come here and I add another category, let me add something like, let me add anything like BBB here. And when I go back to my pivot table, you'll see that this is added, but anything additional is going to be added to the end. So no matter what you do, it is going to be added to the end of it. So this is one thing that you need to remember about manual sorting. Now there is another way to do manual sorting. For example, in this case, let's say I want the furniture in the beginning. Now I can obviously do the same thing. I can bring furniture here or what I can do is I can come to this label and then manually type furniture. And when I do that and I, and I hit enter, pivot table will realize that I want to bring the furniture column here in the beginning. So it is going to automatically do the swap for me. You can see furniture values are now here, electronics values are here and clothing values are here. And you can still see my data is sorted based on the values in column C. So this is how manual sorting works. It is not very intuitive. It could be confusing. So it is a good concept to know, but when you're using it, use it with caution. So I've created a new pivot table from scratch from the data and let's make this pivot table. So I would put salesperson name in the rows area, revenue in the values area, and let's put category in the columns area. Now you can see that by default, it has uh, this list in an alphabetical order. So these names are in alphabetical order A to Z and so are these category names. Now there is a concept called custom list in pivot table where you can create your own custom list and whenever you create a pivot table, it is going to follow that custom list. Now in this case, it has chosen to sort this data based on the alphabetical order. But if there is a custom list which is relevant, then it, was, it would use the custom list because custom list get priority. See what happens when I remove the salesperson name and let's remove the category and just add a date. And when I do that, it gives me January, February, March and April. And you can see that this is not in an alphabetical order. So how would Excel know that it needs to give me these months as Jan, Feb, March and April? And that is because there is already four built in custom lists that are there in pivot table. If you want to see where these are, I would just select any of these cells, go to the data tab. And here, when I click on this sort icon, and then when I click on more options and uncheck this box, you'll see that in this dropdown, I have these four custom lists. Now, whenever I make a pivot table, it would first check whether there is a custom list that can be used. If there is no custom list, it is going to sort my data alphabetically. Now, how to make a custom list? So let's do one thing. Let me remove these. And let's say I want to create a pivot table where I always want this to be sorted where I have furniture, then I have clothing, then I have electronics. Now it is not going to be possible by default because it is either A to Z or Z to A sorting. So I can create my own custom list. So to do that, I'm going to go to the file tab, then click on options. And here I'm going to check the advanced option. And then at the bottom here, I have this option called edit custom lists. And when I click on it, it is going to open this custom list dialog box where I can create my custom list. So let's make this one. I would first have furniture, then clothing, then electronics. Now I have manually typed it. If you want, you can also have them in a range in Excel and then you can import them. So we have this option of importing a range and it is going to then create a custom list from that as well. In this case, let me just click on add. You can see I have this list here. And now when I click OK, my custom list is created. Now let's do one thing. Let's delete this pivot table and let's build it from scratch. So remember when we created this one, it started with clothing, then electronics, that furniture. But see what happens now. I use Alt N sorry, Alt NVT, then click OK. And here, let's have salesperson name, revenue, and category. And you can see 
Now my category automatically is furniture, clothing, electronics because this is now using a custom list. So this is how you can use custom list if there is a specific sort order that you want, you can use custom list and that would get priority over any other sorting criteria. Now, if you already have a pivot table and you want to use the custom list you have just created, then you can do that as well. Select any of these cells, go to the data tab, here click on this sort icon, then click on more options and then you can choose from these custom lists. For example, in this case, I can choose furniture and then click OK. Now it is already there in this case because it's already sorted because I created the custom list. But if you have just created a custom list and you want to modify an existing pivot table, then you can use these steps. So these are some of the pivot table sorting concepts I wanted to share with you. While most of the basic stuff is pretty easy, pivot table can be a bit difficult when you want to get more flexibility with sorting. So I hope the hacks that I've shared with you in this video will help you in getting the proper sorting done. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.